But you thought I wasn't gonna say nothing? What? Really? Me? <laughs> nah. Y'all gotta be smarter than that. Quite sure, right now y'all watching the highlights of Floyd fighting black fighters. You know, these are the three black fighters that was mentioned on the video. We'll first look at Zab. And as you can see in the first couple of rounds, Zab was actually having his way. And this is where I don't disagree with you, Devin. You're right. <laughs> African American fighters, Moors, <laughs> they all going to give Floyd Mayweather some problems in the ring or challenge him. Because they, one, have the DNA structure. They got that nine ether. <laughs> and, and basically, they have a geno code that's different from a lot of other nationalities. But we won't go into that. Let's just stick with talent level. Because that's what it boils down to. And after that little stanza, as you can see here in round four, the, the wheels are falling off. And instead of noticing what was going on in the fight, you need to notice what happened after they had their little success. When they had the little success, Floyd comes and beat the living hell out of them. With mental toughness. Sticking to the game plan. And for those who don't know, watch the Zab Judah fight again. Floyd was not using the shoulder roll. Because Zab trained to fight against the shoulder roll. So he started using his pick a -boo style. Started leading with the right hands. And coming with different combinations and different looks. To break Zab Judah down. Kept getting close to him. Making Zab work. Being the bigger guy. Forcing his way in the ring. And coming towards Zab. So that Zab can work. They wanted to keep Zab working. Because Zab going to burn himself out. That was the game plan. Zab likes to fight in spots. If you let him. But if you jump in his face. Like Floyd's doing now. You see the success you're going to have. Because Zab can't keep up this kind of pace. And over the time he's going to break down. So that was the strategy. So it's not like Zab. Floyd could have fought Zab an entirely different way. Zab wouldn't have had a, me, a minor <laughs> success that he did. But fighting this way, you break him down. You break him down to his last elements. You see what I'm saying? This is the type of thing that when you talk about fighting African American fighters and stuff like that. Devin, look. Floyd didn't fall more African American fighters than you did. <laughs> he didn't fall more African American fighters than Tim Bradley. He didn't fall more black fighters, whatever, than than uh, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, it is what it is. But here's the problem. Y'all ain't winning. <laughs> if y'all want to fight Floyd, you got to be winning. We can't put you in a fight if you losing to Sean Porter. How can you say fight me and you losing to Sean Porter? You know, win. If you beat Amir Khan, I mean, your resume says put you in there. Tim Bradley hadn't even tried to make a fight with him. And, uh, yeah, here's your boy. Same thing with Shane. Sugar Shane Mosley. Oh, good shot. Caught him with the one-two. Caught him cold. I told you, they, they gonna always give Floyd problems. And everybody was excited in this round, too. But what happened after the fact? <laughs> so it's not like that's just the key. You just got to be black and show up. I mean, I would love to see you fight Floyd. I would love, Devin, for you to beat Amir Khan, upset these plans, and actually make a fight with Floyd Mayweather. To me, I, that's a great matchup. That's a great boxing matchup then you can get what you're asking for. You can get the education that you want. I would love to see that because you squandered it when you lost to Porter. I mean, you almost got the fight when he chose Guerrero over you, but Guerrero had just beat Birdo. 
You know, see, look at these different looks Floyd give y'all, man. All these different feints. You know, it's not just... I mean, Devin understands it. You know, Devin is worthy. You know, he understands what this is. He's seen Floyd train. He knows what he know what the next level is. He know what it looks like. But getting in that ring is an entirely different thing. All together. And I want to know, for all y'all who follow this stupidity, all y'all stupid people on the internet, stupid media writers want to write this, why don't you do some research? When somebody says something stupid and think Floyd has to respond to it, it's like, that's dumb. Why would... Why does that's like condescending for him to have to respond? Hey man, you ain't fight no black fight when you you can go on box rec and check out his check out his record against anybody. He beat them all, but how many of those fighters were black? Whether well, it was from Ghana or Africa or whatever, well, how many of them was black? How many of them that Tim Bradley fought was black? How many of them that Devin Alexander fought was black? You see what I'm saying? So, just do that. Then try to talk to me. Now, y'all gonna feel real stupid because y'all just start watching boxing, basically. And, I, I guess I can't fault y'all. I gotta fight, fault these, this stupid media people who don't know no better they just jump out and just start writing because they hear another fighter say something and then they just put it out there but Devin did what he needed to do he got some press going you know and 78 and everybody else you know I just let them talk about that because it's really stupid Floyd didn't fought African American fighters but none of them have put themselves in a position for a fight to fight Floyd Mayweather except for Tim Bradley and then Tim Bradley didn't try to make a fight with Floyd Mayweather and they tell you we didn't even try to go that route because like we ain't going in another direction. I don't want to be a Floyd Mayweather opponent when I can make more money going after this Manny Pacquiao route. Well, that was your answer. And if you interview Tim Bradley, you can go right on ahead. Oh, that's the Corley fight, and that was that big right hand. And here come Corley. And for here, I just let this whole round play out. You know why? Because I want y'all to see what happens. You see, people love to point out when you're great and they have nothing to go against you, they love to try to find one thing you did wrong and think that constitute the whole fight. This was basically the last and only thing Chop Chop Corley did in this fight. Besides take a beating. This is probably one of the worst beatings somebody has taken in a fight. But he landed that one haymaker. And everybody thought that was it. Man, he just went to work on Chop. Chop swinging for the fences. And Floyd just kept the pressure coming. So, I mean, you got to realize that there's something else there. <laughs> it ain't just because he's a black fighter. That That's only going to take care of some of it. It's just like in Superman 3, when they tried to make that kryptonite. And they said, they had all the ingredients, and then they had about 50% of it was unknown. That's a big number. Just because the percent was just one thing that was unknown, it was about 50% of it. And that was unknown. That unknown factor is what Floyd got. I mean, I know what it is, but for y'all, it's unknown. And the unknown factor is what they've been trying to clone, what they've been trying to recreate, and and mix with their DNA, and make clones that they can control. They, it's a whole other aspect going on with that. But we will not go on that in this video. But you're seeing it right now. That X factor. That's what they want. That's the thing that Floyd has. The next level. That comes with being born into this. The boy is just a winner, man. And 
hey, if Devin win against Khan, make the fight. Make the fight. I'll love to see it. But remember, boxing fans, y'all weren't asking for Floyd to fight this guy. Y'all weren't asking for, y'all asked for Manny Pacquiao, 